key father spoke of. I've never seen a key like this before. It feels like father wanted me to keep it a secret. Hello. That's a strange key. Oh, hi there. You, you startled me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to. Hey, wait. A mysterious boy. That's a new trophy. Where did he go? Let's go back and close that. If there is an option. Okay, puzzles in this game is so... Okay. Close. That's a master key. Mm, yummy. Find the lock that fits the key. Okay, let's try to find I don't think it's in my room Okay, hmm. it doesn't fit down is like a cross and okay let's try to see okay that's a cross maybe it's like this now the lock is too heavy too old for this to work I didn't want to press that. Open sesame. Of course. Someone's been searching here. A Either lot of they searching didn't have time to clean up or simply did not care. A lot of searching. What's the quest log? Explore the master study. 
If father hid the key for me to find, then this means nobody has been able to enter this room since his death. Yeah, like something like that. Okay. Myths and legends of the Highlands. From the library, I'd wager. This looks interesting. Hmm. Screwed down tight. <laughs> Someone didn't want it moved. Oh my god. That's another puzzle. Okay, leave that alone. Okay, let's search here, maybe we can find some clues. Just bits and bobs. Bits and bobs, so nothing here, nothing down there. What a mess. Letters about the day-to-day -day running of the estate. These might be useful if I decide to live here. The handwriting must be Edwards. Pay half what he asks. Forward to lawyers. Charming. And this one. Your money won't protect you forever. The hangman will catch up eventually. A curse on you and your family. Seems he was as popular as he was pleasant. What? Father wouldn't have hidden his papers somewhere as obvious as a desk drawer. Whoever did this would have searched the room after they looked in the desk. Maybe they didn't find what they were looking for. Oh, that's a secret. Some sort of secret compartment. father's handwriting the chapel the family chronicles I may find answers there hmm okay looks like a note about the cipher in the shelf 251 and now how do I know which one is a number <laughs> 251 okay that's going to be interesting. The puzzles are a bit hard. Everything but the seal. Okay, read that and read that. Oh man. Let's start. Here. I beg you to reconsider, Sir Edward. My family has lived on this land for many generations, and to be told we must leave our own home is too much to bear. Alice, my wife, whom you have met, is beside herself with grief. We have nowhere else to go. I beg you to look inside your heart and allow us to remain. Have them out by the end of the month. What? The signs are there. Deny them at your peril. The ancient evil that inhabits this land has seeped into the very stone of the castle walls. And if you do not tread carefully, it will infect your family. Contact the constable. 
Have this witch locked up so she does not bother us again. A local girl goes missing. The concerns have been raised at the disappearance of Cora McKay, a 17-year-old local girl. According to the police, she was last seen leaving her place of work, the Three Kegs Inn, two days ago. She is the third person to disappear in recent months, but the circumstances of each have been markedly different. Cora is described as being four foot ten, with grey eyes and long, dark hair. Anyone with information is urged to contact the constabulary. Oh, there is more down. Why all the fuss? She is nothing but a peasant. A tavern girl. If you can't keep your blabbermouth shut, don't be surprised if others make sure you get what's coming to you. This sounds as if Grandfather Edward was willing to take drastic measures to enforce his will. Okay, nothing else. And now I think I have that one. Two five one. What are those? Oh, two, five, one. Maybe there are five shelves. This one is maybe the first, second, third, fourth. Mm. Let's try one, two. Maybe this is two. Five is the last one, like a B. And one, this one. Let's try it like that. The big ring, which is two. this one medium ring five was B this and there is an N oh nice that was first try the first one no the first one was hard this council certainly has its secrets
the puzzles are quite hard. So does the... It's very precise, accurate. A lot of work went into this. There's a bit miss... Hold on. There. <laughs> there. There you go. Stop your wait. Stop your wait. Wait! <sighs> the boy! Did you see him? Where did he go? What did I tell you about disturbing me in my sleep? Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you all right, sir? What happened, David? Uh, the boy. There was blood. And he, he pushed him down. Who? Who do you think you saw? Him. Him. Oh, chapter one complete already. Nice, I got the trophy. What did you just say, sir? It's all right. You're like your father. You can see them too, can't you? Talk in my sleep. What did my father say? I've been babbling in my sleep since I was a child. It's nothing to worry about. Poor girl is scared out of her wits. Of course, sir. Sorry, sir. What did my father say? My father. What did he think he saw? It ain't my place to say, sir. But I... Go on. Begging your pardon, sir. You should go. This place, it drove your father mad. Drove him? Did he say what or whom he saw? I'm sure I don't know, sir. Best not push her too hard. She's scared enough of me already. Thanks. Sorry, I didn't get your name. It's Ailsa, sir. Ailsa Cranon. Oh, and Master Andrew asks if you would join him in the library. After breakfast, of course. Thank you, Miss Cranon. Get a hold of yourself, David. What, what, what? Okay. My father saw them too? Were these apparitions what drove my father from the castle when he was young? Were they what drew him back? He must have found something in the family chronicles he spoke of. The boy and the old man. Nobody else saw the boy or the old man who looked like my grandfather Edward. But it felt real. More even than the daydreams that plagued my childhood. I don't remember ever seeing that boy. A faded memory, perhaps? 
As far as I know, I've never been to this castle before. Elsa knows more than she wants to tell me. Oh? I got a silver trophy. I can breathe. You have calmed yourself down after a stressful night. So that was the bathroom. Who was the boy? Find out what Al Elsa knows. Okay. Now let's search again. Okay, nothing else. Once you're done in the kitchen, go and clean up the cellar. The spiders have made a nest down there. A big one, too. They're crawling everywhere. Uh, Master David, nice of you to grace us with your presence. Uh, friendly. Let's go friendly. I appreciate your patience. I've had the staff prepare some of the finest Scottish delicacies for you. Black pudding, haggis, scrambled eggs with deer brain, and bacon. Deer brain, oh my god. Don't eat. They are going to poison me. Mm, I'm not going to eat the brain scrambled eggs. I shot the deer myself in the local woods. Okay. Or is there a trophy to eat that too? Mother was never a fan of dishes made from entrails. In this case, she'd be missing out. Oh, okay. Finish. That was delicious. Thank you. I'm sure our local specialities must seem peculiar to one raised as you were. I was raised in India. My spectrum of peculiar has quite a range. Okay, that was a trophy. You have enjoyed a wonderful Scottish breakfast. Another silver trophy. So, it's good to eat everything, maybe. Yes, Master David? Okay, he's worked for the Gordons. You've worked for the family all your life. Yes, Master David. Uh, saved my time serving in Swaziland. You served in South Africa? Oh, indeed, sir. During the Boer War. But Sir Edward intervened and I was able to return unharmed from that most futile conflict. Maid seems to be afraid. May I ask, the maid? She seems nervous, almost afraid of me. She's afraid of everything. You don't think much of her? I do not, sir. And if I may be so bold, one of Lady Gordon's earrings has gone missing. You suspect the maid? Not my place to say, Master David. Yet I think you just did say. Hmm. Earrings. If I gave him the earring, he'd use it as an excuse to torment the maid. Not that I'd ever gain his trust. He's clearly loyal to Lady Margaret. And the staff. Uh, how many staff are there? Nowadays, only myself, the maid, and Rory the gardener. I suppose you could include the lawyer too, if that is work. Not many for such a big house. If you felt like hiring more staff, I would not complain, sir. But of course. 
Not everyone is suited to work in this house. Okay. Well, good day to you. Indeed, sir. Good day to you. <laughs> Let's check anything new to the quest log. No. Elsa knows more about my father than she dares tell me. I'd better earn her trust now. She might return to the village once the weather clears. Elsa knows. Smoking a pipe. I thought that would be beneath her station. Uh, Lady Margaret. David. May I first apologize for my strange behavior last night? It's just that... Uh, think nothing of it. You are obviously tired from your travels. Least said, soon is mended. Hmm, a boy in the castle. I don't want to give her another reason to think me mad. Uh, this may seem like an unusual question. I'd be surprised if it wasn't, dear boy. Have I ever been here before? Is it possible I visited as a child and can no longer remember? Oh no, you are a stranger to these walls. And I have a feeling you prefer it stayed that way. Hmm, her husband Edward? Uh, what kind of man was my grandfather? Oh, he was magnificent. He was handsome, so handsome. And caring. Caring enough to knock a defenseless child down the stairs. All was so very different when he was around. Maid seems to be afraid. The maid. She seemed to be acting strangely, like she was frightened of me. Yes, well... She's a simple sort, that one. She has probably heard of the curse of the Gordons the locals like to whisper about. Curse? What curse? Just a peasant superstition. I would guess she was worried you'd show the same displays of unpredictable violence as your father did. I never knew my father to be the violent type. Oh, there are many things you do not know about your father. This is his doing. What? But, but how? I'd rather not discuss it, David. And that maid should really keep her mouth shut and locate the earring she lost. She's like a magpie with shiny, expensive things. Hmm. Earring? I could give it to her and she'd still never tell me anything useful about my father or the secrets of this place. But the maid? I could use this to earn her trust. Oh, of course. I bye shall bye. take my leave, Lady Margaret. Yes. Definitely. Oh, this camera. Let's go up. We're up here. I have to go into the cellar, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. Uh, Miss Cranon? Isn't that used for transporting cooked food? Why is there blood in it? Ugh, the wee scanner thought it would be funny to put one of his dead beasties in it to fear me. He should keep them in the cellar and... 
Sorry, sir. I'm speaking out of turn. Did you ever talk to my father? I was serving here when he... 